everyone welcome back to my channel and yes I am finally making another video what a surprise um if you couldn't tell from the title of this video this is a new video that I have uh, never actually made it's a main makeup favorites video so I'm so excited to be showing you guys what is my favorite makeup products for May I do want to say that these makeup products that are my favorite have been my favorites for longer than May but whatever we're gonna use it for May and it's actually in my everyday makeup bag I do use these products every day but for the most part the products in this video are some of my favorites uh, and plus it's a lot to do with spring so before we get into the video I know I'm not trying to make this a super long video I want to make it short if you don't like videos where people talk through them that's what I'm gonna be doing so if you don't prefer those videos you don't have to watch this video to fix it um it was actually bright outside and then somehow it got really 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 dark so I've ended up having to turn on my lights and they're like really washing me out or something it looks funny um so I can't really tell you why I also had problem filming with my camera and then I tried it with my computer and I'm back to my camera now so I am once again so sorry for the lighting and for the weird coloration of my face um but I do have my lights on in my room it's literally dark outside so we are going to get started with my video even though it's not turning out the way I wanted it to um but anyways I'm going to show you three products that I use every day uh this is stuff that does not fit into my makeup bag the first thing I use is a Neutrogena uh, moisturizer. This is oil-free SPF 15 and it is for acne prone skin. I use this because I do have dry skin. Uh, the next thing I use is a primer and I used to not use a primer but then I started using a primer. And this primer is by e.l.f. e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer and it's just like a little bottle like this and um, it's in clear, that's what it says. But I just take one pump of it and dot it on my face and rub it in and like my face is like super soft after doing so, so that is one of my favorites. Uh, next favorite, y'all probably can guess, is the First Naked Palette. I've had this palette for probably two years, but it's just the First Naked Palette. I do have the second one, but I just prefer the first one because I think the colors go more to me. Uh, my eye makeup doesn't really change. I've used the same eye makeup style for since 8th grade. Um, it's just the different bases change for it. So my top favorite colors, I have hit pan in this palette. The colors that I use are Virgin and Sin, and I use those as my all over lid color. And then I use Naked and Buck, and I've just recently started using those just because I like them. They're a more natural color, and I use them in my crease. And then I will use Sidecar as a outer part. And then I will use Hustle and Gunmetal as well for the outer part. Um, it just really depends on what day it is that I use them. But like today, I used all of them. And it's just a lighter, like smoky eye look. So those are my top favorites in that palette. So now we are going to get into my makeup bag. And the makeup bag is from Ulta. And it's just like a chill color. Uh, I got it in seventh grade. My foundation. Uh, I've been using this foundation probably for about a month. Uh, it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily uh, Foundation. And it's 228 Soft Hand. That's the color that I am supposedly in, but it doesn't really match up. I got this because I did go tanning and I actually got tan, but my face doesn't tan, so I needed a color that would match up to my tan. And I don't know, I just really like it because it does have a matte finish to it. And the only thing I don't like, I don't like is like it doesn't have a uh, pump to it, so you have to like pour it out. I just dip my brush into it. But that is my favorite foundation at the moment, and I will be doing a foundation routine with this foundation, so be looking forward to that. The next product is my powder. My powder is in medium, and it's by Wet n Wow. And it's just like a comes with the sponge applicator that I don't use, but the powder is soft and it's like perfect to its skin tone. And it's got I don't know, I don't know. It's just a good powder, and I've been liking it. The next thing I have really been loving is the Elf Contouring Blush in Bronzer, and this is in Saint Luca or something. But it's the two-piece thingy. 
um, the bronzer and the blush. I have hit pan on the bronzer. I really like the bronzer because it is a shimmery like bronzer, but it's not orange. It's a brown color. I have it on now, so I just really like how it works. And I've started using the blush, but I don't really have to use blush because I'm already naturally pink. So I haven't really seen that much with the blush. Next thing are my eyebrows. Um. I used to not fill in my eyebrows, but now I do, and I just like the way my eyebrows look when I fill them in. And this eyebrow kit is by Benefit. It's the, it's light brown, brow innings or something, but it's by Benefit. I think it was $34, but I have hit pan on that also. I just really like how it worked, and I've actually had this, <laughs> excuse me, I've had this since the beginning of the year, so I don't know. I think it was a good Thing. and it smells kind of cool too so. Yeah. so my liquid eyeliner that I have been liking is the wet n wild mega eyeliner once again it's just it has a nice tip to it it's like a really small tip so it's like really good for liquid eyeliner next thing that I have really 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 been liking is the NYX jumbo eye pencil and this is a milk so 604 milk and I've actually used a lot of it um you can use it as a base and you can also use it in your waterline as an eyeliner and that has is what I've been doing I think it's good for spring because it does make your eyes pop um I know people at school have asked me what I've done differently with my makeup and that's one thing that I've done differently and I've done less eye makeup as well so I really do like this definitely would recommend you to go get it the next two things are mascara and the first mascara is the wet and loud mega protein mascara and I like this one not because it's protein but because it has a cute little applicator and it's just a small mascara and it's like I don't know it does a clump the next mascara is one of my top favorites and it's the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Mascara and I like this because the applicator to it is actually pretty cool it's like the bottom lashes and the top lashes or bottom and top lashes and the way it goes on it's really cool and you do see a difference with your eyelashes so that's pretty much it uh, the first thing I will show you is the Nivea lip moisturizing moisturizer uh, I'm showing you this because this is one of my favorites I use it every day and it's like a well first it smells really good it smells like cotton candy um and it's like shimmery it's not like your average lip moisturizer and it does last a really long time so I definitely really like this and it's probably gonna be one of my favorites for a long time products as well um <laughs> the first one is the wet n wild lip stain and it is in a stiff pink and basically it's like a chubby stick you just roll it out and then roll it back in and it's a really bright pink color and if you couldn't tell I really like pink so I think this is really good for summer because it gives you a pop of color. This color is kind of similar to the lip uh, stain. It's by Revlon and it's in Sweet Tart and I actually use all these little products together. It's like a bright pink color. Um, oops, brightish but it's actually a bright pink color. And I like it because it's like a um, glossy lipstick, so I mean, I, it's not like matte. And then the next product is, the last one, is Apple Strudel. And this is a NYX Butter Gloss, and it's like a light pink color, but when you open it, it actually looks pretty cool to me. And then I just apply it, and if you look at it, it's like lighter than the lipstick. So I use all these lip products together and those are my top favorite products. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed my May makeup favorites video. I know I ramble so much and um, if you liked this video and like these type of videos just let me know down below and I will be sure to make another favorites video. Uh, once again I'm sorry for the lighting and sorry for where I'm sitting or whatever or sorry that I talked too much in my videos but yeah that is my main makeup favorites video and I will see you guys in my next video bye yeah first by elf it's an elf based mirror <laughs> that would happen you get if you hear that sound it's thunder and it 
Is it raining? Is it raining? Uh, okay. I couldn't tell. <laughs>